this toenailing is well, it will be the most difficult thing that, you, that you'll be doing and you can make it as hard as you want to or as pretty much as easy as you want to and 56 years of experience uh, it, it's, it's easy you're gonna have marks where your floor joists or your roof rafters fit. And if you don't, I can't remember last year if they came out there with marks or not. Anyway, we'll go over that later. But this is where your first joist will fit. You'll have a mark on your top plate. And the measurement will be two foot increments. Normally, once you have some experience, you don't have to put the screw back here. But it's much, much easier for beginners to have something because if you don't, if you have it right there and you try to Put your screw in it's going to shift on you so you just take a screw like this it doesn't have to be that long it can be a short one take a screw like this and run it in just enough to where it holds it put your after up against there and then you start your now again not super critical the distance up is an inch and a quarter. Last year I saw them, they would put a, oh, it must be a two and a half or three inch screw. An inch and a half screw, which I saw a couple people last year try to do. You, you can't use it. It would be, it would have to be way down here to get started. And all that'll do is split out the bottom of that rafter and it won't hold anything. The other ones they were doing is they were putting an inch and a half screw up here this high, starting it in, and it didn't even reach down into the top plate. So remember the, the inch and a quarter and the three inch screw. This is where gloves come in handy and I would hope they would get enough gloves or, or please bring your own if you have to. It saves your fingers. And you can't, it's hard to work with no fingers. So what you do first is you find out where your rafter will fit, will fit. On the back side, you'll put your screw in. You'll set your joist or rafter there. You take this, you hold your screw right there. That's why you need gloves, because on your short screws, your threads come all the way up. And when, it's hard to see there. But you have to hold it while you start the screw. So, you can see where it would chew up your fingers. So take your three inch, and two and a half or three inch screw. And you start, you hold it right there. And you just start it a little bit. Just to make a, a point there to get it. And then you come up to a 45 degree angle. Now... It's basically halfway from here to here for your for, for your 45. You can on the first couple to get used to it, you can always do that. And then once you get that, then you put your screw in. Ah. 
my bit's wearing out. <laughs> the other thing is, it's the number of screws. If you're, if what you're anchoring down is either a two by four or a two by six, you would put one screw on, on each, one screw on each side, one here and one here. Two by eight, two by ten would be three. He would put two in on one side, one in on the other. And then you want to take out your your, your temporary screw. Uh, oh. So you have your you have your inch and a quarter. This this the stick is an inch and a half this way. It's exactly 12 inches long. So I, that's what I did here. That would be your inch and a quarter. That's your inch and a half. And the 12 inches is where you would go for your field. That's in the the field would you have would have to screw here. If this is your joist that you're screwing into, you would have your screw here, just lay that there, put that one in, move it up and keep going. It's a lot easier that way. On the edges, lay it every six inches. You can lay it and put that screw and that screw in and then move it two times. Uh, I think that's about all that I can think of that I, that I saw last year. Um, hope to see you all in a couple of weeks. So have a good day. Thank you.